James and Moores share 176 to set Mammoth target. Brett Hutton picked up a five wicket haul to give Lancashire something to worry about. The hosts already in the lead at the end of the visitors' innings, but the Red Rose had fought back. Five wickets giving them a sniff, the Nottinghamshire lead 235 at the end of day two. Lyndon James and Tom Moores made sure that there would be no early wickets for Lancashire as they ploughed their way through the morning session, racing towards 200. And the shot that got them to the mark also brought James his 50, scored off 149 balls. And then Moores followed, quicker to the mark, just 87 required for his, Nottinghamshire's lead now over 300 runs. It would be plain sailing for the pair, Lancashire's window of opportunity seemingly slamming shut, the sixth wicket worth 100 runs before the break. And when they headed for lunch, the lead was now 334, Nottinghamshire now in complete control, having added 99. They made Lancashire suffer after the break. James quickly up to a new career best with some glorious strokes, and Moores too looking in imperious form as the lead raced towards 400. The Knotts keeper looked to go to his 100 in style, but perhaps too aggressively. Caught in the leg side by Croft of the bowling of Wells for 97, his partnership with James worth 176 runs. Patterson White ensured the lead would breach 400 runs into his stride early. Wells had another wicket, James denied a century, caught looking for the boundary, out for a career best 91. And Hutton followed in the next over, caught for one off the bowling of Bailey, who was now bowling spin. He wouldn't be so effective against Patterson White though, 16 more runs plundered off the remainder of the over. There was just one more over and one more boundary before Mullaney decided Knotts had enough and declared on 339 for 8. Lancashire set 444 for what now looked an unlikely win. There had been hope for the visitors at the start of the day, but Moores and James' huge partnership had all but extinguished it. Both men would be devastated not to make their way to hundreds, but they'd done an excellent job, Nottinghamshire now in the driving seat. They followed it with an early wicket. Alex Davis out for a golden duck, LBW to Fletcher in the first over of Lancashire's reply, the leave less than ideal. Wells and Balderson denied not sending more momentum before tea, up to 30 at the break, 414 more needed. And they continued to frustrate the hosts after the interval, a 50-run partnership forthcoming for the second wicket duo. Perhaps that target wasn't as far out of reach as first thought. They continued to grow into the innings, their partnership building with every delivery, and before long, both men were in the 40s. With little time left in the day, could they find their way to 50 each? Well, certainly could. Up to the mark with his 10th four of the innings, the shot taking the pair to 100 runs for the second wicket at the same time. Alderson, though, didn't look interested. The potential half-century distraction, survival through to the close of play, his focus and he'd achieved that goal, the partnership unbroken and 115 chipped off when they walked off the field of play. They still require a further 329 if they're to chase down a win that still looks pretty unlikely, but this wicket looks to have improved as the match has gone on and Lancashire will be determined to at least make a good go of it when they come back tomorrow for the final day at Trent Bridge.